Hey everybody, it is Friday morning, pretty close to 10, and um, since it is September 1st, this is a good time for me to go ahead and finish up the month. So we can finish it up, we can do a nice um, walk, walk, walk through, <laughs> flip through what I meant to say. I gotta find a home for this. This is my fountain pen thing. Okay. And this fountain pen cartridge goes there. Okay. Just kind of straightening things up here, getting them ready for us to use. All right. I think we're set. I think we are set. All right. Just kind of getting my uh, stickers and things ready and whatever we need. Okay, so the last time we recorded was for the 23rd. So there weren't a whole lot of days left, um, which is fine. And got a few things I can put in here. Not a whole lot, and then we'll be done with this month. Can you believe it is September? I can't. I love this page. Okay, so Thursday it got up to 77 degrees and um, the temperature is starting to get a little bit lower now. Not as many days with high humid or high dew points and humidity. So um, it's improving quite a bit. But I had a busy morning with housework. It was a Thursday, but I did finish by 9 o'clock. I went out on my deck to... Um, take care of my plants and I tossed some of them that were dead including my very reluctant tomato plant and watered what was left and then I did a load of laundry and I cleaned the house so yeah busy morning but it, I did get done at nine and then work was pretty quiet uh, I chatted online with my daughter with my brother um, the Hobonichi preview party was today, and next week we order, which now we have ordered last night. My daughter ordered for both of us so we could share the shipping because the shipping gets to be um, pretty expensive. So, yeah, so it was super fun to watch. It took me a couple days to even, three days, I think, to actually get through the entire preview party because it was almost two hours long. Um, work was busy off and on throughout the afternoon, but I just, uh, in my spare in between time, I watched Farmhouse Fixer and recorded a YouTube journaling process video. I got a lovely love card. <laughs> Sometimes my spelling. I got a lovely card and letter from my friend Kathy congratulating me on, um, getting into the Bethel Seminary. So there it is, and a really sweet um, note. This is from the envelope, and just really nice. So it was fun to, it was really sweet to get that from her. Thank you, Kathy. Um, Doug checked on my vehicle after work, so um, the oil change was done, but they said it needed a new battery. Um, there's just things to work. He worked on it later, which we'll talk about soon. Um, he came home, we had beef stroganoff, pasta dish for supper, but I used Italian sausage instead of um, beef, and instead of egg noodles, I used a different kind of a big shell noodle instead. And then he ate and went, ate and went to check on a new battery, um, which when he did, they, our battery does not need changing. So I watched some news, did some last minute work, watched Junior Bake Off on Netflix. Doug, when Doug got home, he called his dad and watched Junior Bake Off with me and we just read until bedtime. Um, I put this sticker in here, let's root for each other and watch each other grow because of the beautiful card Kathy gave me. And then on Friday, got up to 81 and I have several, several things here, so we'll talk about those. Um, work was off and on busy, so I have 70 projects, and a good portion of them are inactive. So during breaks, I read a little, I looked at the Hobonichi stuff online. Then Rachel and Sadie picked me up 
a little bit after one o'clock and we went to Perkins and we actually, we had breakfast. And then we went to Michael's. I wrote Michael. Michael's. And I got a book of stickers. I got die cuts, two Tombow pens, and two Stadler pens just to add to my collection. And then we went to Target and I got a purse to carry my whole, oh, boy, my spelling carry my Hobonichi in. Um, it was on clearance, so I got it for $17.50. It's really cute. Then uh, she dropped Sadie and me off at our place around 3 because Sadie was staying the night. And then when I got I got the mail I was waiting for from Hobonichi, a Hobonichi buy sell group on Facebook, and it was the A5 cover. Uh, which I've shown in, if you look at my other videos where I have Hobonichi videos, um, it shows the cover I bought from somebody. And then I put that cover on cover on my, and put my two AVIC books inside. And then, um, didn't take long to get caught up on my work. So this is uh, from the AVIC books because I left them in the paper until until I got the cover so this was the cover I got the cover on cover which I love and these are the two books and I have a Hobonichi showing exactly how I'm using these books but that was the cover I got um, this was just some washi tape I had from Tomodachi the Tomodachi store when they used to sell paper stuff, which they don't do anymore. Uh, we'll talk about that too, I think. Yes, we will talk about that. So this was from the purse. And these are the two new pen colors. And this was from the Hobonichi planner. So then um, Doug got home at four and Sadie was watching some Minecraft on YouTube and then Doug went to run some errands and I worked in my planner, and then we had corn dogs and fries for supper, and we rented the Red Box Movie Sonic 2 ice cream for dessert, and then we all just read until bedtime. So that was really all we did. So as you can see, I've got some spaces here I need to do some things with. So let me see. Um, I so wanna use this up. You know, this is the wrong direction, but I just like this so much, so I'm just going to use it and not worry about it. So, September, October is three, four months left of this year, and I am looking forward to fall. I love fall. I love pre-fall and fall, and then after that, not so much winter stuff I don't like. <laughs> Okay, so I'd like to find something to go here and then I can use washi here, but I just need something. I'm thinking that it's not exactly, exactly like the colors I want, but I mean, I could go this, that might be better. Um, maybe, okay, I think I see an idea here what I can do. So let's cut, let's just cut the cake to a smaller piece. So that's going to go here. And then we are going to take this. This is what I'm thinking. I can I'm just gonna do some trimming and see if I can come up with a way to make this work in my book. See if I could go like this. I could go like that. And I don't have to have this part at the top. So I could go like this, and then I could put this cake 
right there. That's what I'm thinking. So I think what I'll do is I'll just cut out some more of this. I don't want to bulk up my pages too much, but I do like that. So I think this is what we're going to go with. All right. So glue this one first. All right. And we can just put that right there. Okay. And then we can glue the cake in there too. And we'll just put that right there. Perfect. I like that. That's kind of fun, don't you? I think it's fun. <laughs> All right. So next. We need something there. Um, and maybe I'll just take my well-guarded Tobonichi tape <laughs> that I hate to use. <laughs> Not my Hobonichi tape, but my Japanese washi tape. I just, I've had it for years and I swear I guard it like a hawk <laughs> just because I like it so much. I can't help it so special so yeah I do I do kind of guard it I have to say what can I say okay so there's three and these are actually three different ones that way I'm actually not repeating any which is good and then I can just take this, I think, will bring out the vibrancy of that pretty color that is in the cactus. And it actually goes this direction. So it'll go like this. There we go. And we'll just put a small piece over here as well. There we go. I like that. I think that's sufficient. It's a pretty page. It's kind of soft. All right. Uh, the next two days, it was the weekend. So as you can see, they were very busy. But Saturday, it got up to 79. And I slept really good, like seven and a half hours. And I got up at 730. So I made coffee. I relaxed. Uh, mostly on my phone because Sadie was still asleep. And she sleeps in the living room. So no lights or noise. So I just have to... Um, do quiet things that I can actually see in the dark. <laughs> so she got up at 8.30 and Doug got up at 8.30. So we put her bed in a way and let her watch some YouTube while we had our quiet times. And then I did breakfast. So I made blueberry muffins and breakfast sausage links. And we watched Sonic 2 again. We ate breakfast at 10.30. And once Doug was done with breakfast, he went to work on my vehicle and it was a long job. He had to pull and change the starter and it took him hours to pull the starter plus at least two runs to go get parts uh, and tools and it was really a brutal dirty job and it took him from 11 in the morning till 5 in the afternoon so he didn't need a new battery though just the starter so after Sonic 2 I let Sadie watch some YouTube and I watched some of the Hobonichi reveal party and then um, recorded forgot ed this is my spelling i recorded a 65 minute video for youtube about the hobonichi avec so i worked in it while i was recording so it was very very long and then jamie and rachel picked up sadie and me at 2 15 and we went to their place and then rachel sadie and i went to the mall of america and i hadn't been to the mall of america since 2019 so almost three years and she had been back a few times so I I used to go like three to four times a year with Rachel so we went to typo that's a paper store and they cut way back on some of their stuff so I was disappointed they didn't have as much um, 
And then we went to Starbucks and we sat at Starbucks for a while looking at our Honichis. And Sadie was interested. So I actually gave her my little original size to use. And then I packed her up later on. Sunday I packed her up a tote with all her journaling supplies that she had. So she has a journal slash planner tote and it's a big one. And after Starbucks, we went to a couple Japanese, Koreans and Korean stores. Um, the Tomodachi, which I was excited about because I wanted to get some stationary supplies and they changed it to almost a totally Japanese food store and there was hardly anything else. I was super disappointed. Last stop was Paper Source and I did buy a stencil pack for my Hobonichi and a pack with the mild liners and the Sarasa pens. These were some of some of the pens, not all of them. And the mild liners. So I wanted to try the mild liners more than anything. Then Rachel took me home. So I got home at five and um, downloaded the video I had recorded and then got it on YouTube. And then we fixed supper once Duck got back. Um, he took a long walk after he got cleaned up from working. So we did, we had from Trader Joe's Hatch Chili Mac and Cheese, which you just do in the microwave. The same with the tamales. We had a beef tamales and green chili tamales. And we ate at seven o'clock. And so on Prime Video, I we watched um, the original Top Gun from 1986, I think. And we had watched it way back in the 80s, several, well, a lot of times. So it was really fun to watch it again. And I worked on my planners while we watched. And then we watched the Junior Bake Show and then read and went to bed at 11. So I do have the Starbucks thing here, but that's all. And then um, I got up on Sunday at 5.30. Couldn't sleep any longer. Made coffee, had my quiet time, packed up that journaling tote for Sadie. It's a big tote like this and has a tray in it and a snap-on lid from Michael's. And then um, we got ready for the day. Duck had cereal for breakfast and I had one little muffin that was left over from us the day before and we left at 10. We picked up Rachel, stopped at Starbucks and we got both got the salted caramel cream cold brews and a bakery item. And then we picked up my friend Marilyn at 11 and we went headed to Sovereign Estates Winery near Waconia for their fine wine and art find. So we got there around 11.45. Tickets were only $5 and you got a wine glass and there were booths and to see. So we got our wine glasses and our entrance and we each then went to, and then we went to sit under the awning um, we put two round tables together because we were a, a group of 10. There were several of our women in our Discovery Ladies Bible study group and some of our daughters, so four daughters came. Um, so we got some food. Rachel and I just split a cheese board and bread with olive oil. And then at 2.30, we all kind of split up and walked around to the art booths and we checked out everything. Rachel and I bought earrings and she bought some metal lawn yard things that you stick in plants or whatever on your lawn. And then Doug picked, Doug had driven us. He was our sober cab, but Rachel and I split a bottle of wine. So yeah, and we ate. So we did it, and drank a lot of water because it was really humid. And, but thankfully it was windy and cloudy. So we headed home at 3.45, dropped Marilyn off, took Rachel home, went to Aldi for groceries, and then we got home um, close to six. And then started supper, so we had steaks wrapped in bacon, and then we had sweet corn that Doug had bought locally in Waconia. And watched a couple of episodes of Junior Baking Show and the newest episode of Chesapeake Shores, Red Till Bedtime, that was it. <laughs> Not a lot. So this is the earrings, the embellishment. That was the booth where I got the earrings from. There's another Starbucks. That's from our wrist thing for our entrance. Um, that was the for the Sovereign Estates. So what I really want to do here is just put something about being with 
women friends. So I want to see what they have that would <clears throat> stick with people who make magic out of, who pull the magic out of you, but not the madness. I love this saying. I think, oh, I'm gonna just cut off a little bit of the top <laughs> so that it fits. And then we'll probably have to cut some of the bottom off, but not too much by the looks of it. All right. And then we'll just kind of cut some, cut this off. That is sticking out. It's an awkward way to cut. Ugh. End up cutting some of my book, but sometimes that can't be helped. Okay, so that's that. And then I want to put something there. So maybe a couple of flowers. We'll put this. And let's put this one. And I would like one more. Maybe this one. There, I like that. And let's just stick one more flower up here just to tie, tie it all together. I think that works really well. All right, so then we have push this over Monday and Tuesday so it got up to 78 on Monday and Bethel Seminary started that day so yay oh and I got that a little skinny ruler um, from Amazon for in here I wanted a clear a clear one so that was that um it was a busy Monday, that's normal. Doug started back to his normal work schedule from 8 to 4.30. In the summer, he works 7 till 3.30. I got up at quarter to five, so I actually had an hour to myself, which I now do since Doug, instead of getting up at 4.45, he gets up at 5.45, and it, that just gives me a more time to myself, which is really nice. So he's back to leaving at, for work at 7.15 instead of 6.15. So I watched some news, had some breakfast. Um, it was a very, very busy day for me. I got it a little bit done for hermeneutics and the grad research seminar, but work was so busy. Mondays can be like that. I During my coffee and lunch breaks, I watched some Renovation Island and a little CNN. Got some planner journaling goodies from Amazon. So I got uh, fountain pen ink cartridges, five each of six colors. That is the Janelle. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it was a package. And so there were five of each color um, and in the package of six different colors. What else did I get? I also got some new soft Sarasa pens. So some of these, they were called Milk. Too soft for me, I'm giving them to my daughter and my granddaughter. Um, and that ruler. Then I made supper just for me since Doug was visiting his dad after work. So I just had corn tortilla with cheese and um, a hard salami in it cooked on a grill so it was browned delicious. I watched No Demo Reno, Junior Bake Show. I journaled and worked on my planner. Um, I also ended up working till 7.30. So it's just... A week ago, we let one of our, our other project manager go, and it has been so insane for me. And Monday, again, was just stressful, stressful day. So much work to do. I worked till 7.30. Um, Doug got home at 8, and then my brother finally is like, should we hire her back half time? And I'm just like, yes, please. So she lives in the Philippines, so he hired her back, and she started right away. And so I turned... I worked from 9.30 to 10 in the e evening and just turned everything back over to her so that I wouldn't have it. And then I, I couldn't sleep 
took a long time to fall asleep because I was I was so relieved. <laughs> and then I woke up with a lot less tension on Tuesday. Oh my gosh, a huge weight off my shoulders. Um, it's just, I couldn't handle that extra, the extra work. It was like an extra 20 projects and it was just too many. So wonderful, so wonderful. I can just breathe again. <laughs> anyway, got up to 78, gorgeous day. I did have the windows and my deck door open the entire day. Um, called my mother-in-law and talked to her and watched a little news during my breaks and Oh, one of my online journaling friends, Monica, is sending me a gift certificate for Crave Restaurant in the Mall of America because she doesn't live in Minnesota, so she can't use it. And I'm so excited. I think Rachel and I will use that and go have sushi or something. So it'll be so exciting. So thank you, Monica. If you watch this, thank you. And then Dad got home at 4.30 and we fixed something on the battery. He fixed something on the battery for the Rainier. And then when he was done... Uh, we just had that leftover pork stroganoff hot dish and watched the news. And then we had our last premarital session with a couple. Um, it was a six-week course, so this was the last one. And it was pretty short, and they gave us a gift certificate to Olive Garden, so I'm going to put that in here. And then after they left, um, Doug went to Menards. My friend Marilyn called me. Then when he got back, um, we watched a couple of the Souls of Junior Baking Show, and then we just read until bedtime. So I'm going to put this on here. This is full, so I don't need anything else on that one. So I'm gonna put this here. The Olive Garden, I love the Olive Garden. Especially just to go and have their soup, salad, and breadsticks. It's inexpensive, and it is so good. So I just want to put something pretty here. This is just a little too big. Um, something that will kind of tie in with everything. Maybe this tape. Maybe I can just put it here just to make sure this sticks down. And then, okay. And then I can put it right here, I think. And I, I think that helps kind of tie it in. And I feel like I should put something here. It just does not seem uh, very sturdy, to say the least. So I'm gonna just use a little bit of this washi and just make sure it it stays. And I'll do a little bit up here too. It kinda, I think then I don't have to worry about it because it doesn't seem very secure to me. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Um, yeah, not a whole lot to decorate on that. And here's my last day. So yesterday it got up to 87, mostly sunny. It did get a little humid, so yeah. There was that, what's new. And it was the last day of the month, so falls on the doorstep, yay. And work was pretty calm after mid-morning, so that gave me the opportunity to do my seminary work. So I completed the grad research course, and then I watched the intro video to hermeneutics, and now I have to read chapters in these three books. <laughs> so that's my next thing to do by September 12th and take the quiz. Um, so what else did I do? Just did work as it came in. Then I took a coffee break, uh, watched Big Bad Budget Battle. Uh, I made tuna melts for supper, and then we watched the news while we ate, and then we, we got for camping. We had a, a, an old camp kitchen we had gotten from Cambela's years ago. We've been using it forever. It's a stand, it has two like table things. They're not big, but you know, they hold enough on the ends and then a higher portion for your camp stove. So we sold that yesterday for 40 and we bought just a plain heavy duty 
white table that the legs fold in on, a four foot long table to use instead. I just was ready for a change and we paid the same price, so it was, it was like a good switch off. Anyway, so then we went to Shakopee right at six. I had a prayer meeting for the Women's Sparkle Conference. This was our second prayer meeting. It was from 6.30 to 7.30. And then Doug uh, coated the trailer roof. And then he picked me up, went to my friend Marilyn's because she's moving today from Shakopee up here, just a couple miles away to an apartment. And um, so we put some of her things that she didn't want broken or needed. We're just harder to have somebody move into our vehicle and we'll take those over tonight. So uh, we got done at eight at her place and then we stopped at Wendy's on the way home for Frosties because I'm like, let's, let's get Frosties. So Doug ordered chocolate, I ordered strawberry, we got mediums, but they, they had to make the strawberry yet and it was gonna take at least five minutes so they asked us if we wanted to wait and we said we did because I didn't want chocolate, I wanted strawberry and um, so she charged us one medium and then she charged us one small, but we got two mediums. Well, anyway, we waited about 10 minutes and she came out and she gave us the medium strawberry, the medium chocolate, and an extra small strawberry, which I saved for today. So that was so sweet. And they're really close to our place, like a mile or less. So we'll definitely go back to them because they were great. And we watched um, Junior Bake Off and then we read and went to bed after 10. Just It was just a late, late night. So I wanna put some things in here. I got a beautiful yellow, beautiful sunny yellow pouch, the large drawer pouch for my Hobonichi supplies. My Hobonichi would fit in it too, but I didn't wanna, I wanna put, I wanted all my supplies to fit in it. It fits great if you wanna see it. The la latest Hobonichi video has it in it, but this is just the tab, tag, which I'm just gonna keep the whole thing because it shows a picture. And I'm just gonna put it right in here. So I'm super excited to get that. And I got some planner stickers for the Hobonichi Cousin A5 um, in that I had ordered from Mandy Lynn plans on Etsy and um, I got those as well. So this is just, I peeled off the thickness of the card she sent and just put a sticker on and whatever. Anyway, that's how I did it. I like it. So I just need to put, um, I think I'm just gonna put some stickers to, to finish this up. <coughs> Pardon me. I think that's, that's all I need to do and we'll be we will be done and I will get ready for camping <laughs> anyway so let's see what we got let's just put some let's put some purple purple stickers if I have purple flowers do I have purple flowers I have purple and yellow that really ties in nicely doesn't it Let's put it, let's put this one, ugh. <laughs> let's put this one here. See if we can do it without creating a disaster. There we go. I like that a lot. And I have another one, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that one down here. And it can just go like this. Perfect. Then if I want, I could just find something that has some kind of saying, uh, maybe this, and I don't know that I need the whole this rock this day. I like that. I'll put that there. Um, I think I did rock the day, actually, with all I got done. Pretty happy about that. Got a lot done with my class. My studying, I really felt good about that, um, for sure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just cut this sticker in half, and let's put the bottom part on first, and it says I can and I will. So I just like that. Let's put that there. Okay, perfect. Oh my gosh. Let's put a little flower 
Do I have a flower? Or, uh, it's got to be something that matches. So let me go back, back into this flower thing again. And I don't know if I have a little purple. I don't have a purple, but I have this. And that ties in with the colors as well. So that actually works just fine. Yeah, so there we are. Um, all done. Let's just do a quick flip through of the month to finish this up. So September, I mean August. Do I know what month it is? <laughs> all right, so here we go. So here is the first and the second, third and fourth. I just love this page. We were camping, fifth and sixth, so lots of writing when we're camping, always. Sunday, Monday, that was our 22nd, 42nd, Andrew and Marcy's second wedding anniversary. I love this page too, so pretty. The 11th and the 12th. 13 and 14, 15 and 16, 17 and 18. I really like the spreads this month. This is camping again, 19 and 20, our 41st anniversary, 21, 22, 23, 24. Here's today we started doing this, 25, 26, 27, 28. 29, 30, 31, and then we're going to be starting September. Yay. All right. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, and it wasn't even an hour-long video. <laughs> All right. Bye.